Uh, hi, my name is Emma. I did Morocco fall um, this past year, so 2019. Biggest, biggest, biggest fear of mine was just being away from home for so long without like, not my phone, but without like so much communication with home. Um, Cause I've like never been away from home for longer than two weeks. Anytime I traveled, it was like with my parents or if it was by myself, you know, they were constantly calling me. I was always texting them. Yes, I'm okay. Like, here's what I did today. So like going into that, knowing like, oh, you'll be able to email them maybe once a week was super scary. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm like really grateful for that component as well. Cause I thought that there was so much opportunity for growth there. I think like, like within the first month or so, I was definitely feeling like, okay, like I can do this. Like I became really close with other kids in my group and like came to rely on those people. But I don't think I really like appreciated the no phone thing until after I came home and realized like how much more capable I felt of other things after having been gone for so long. Um, so I feel like it was more of an after the fact appreciation. Um, I think like learning to communicate better with other people and that was like kids like people that we met on program but also um even kids like on my own program I think like you're in like in such a different environment you have to be so much more articulate um and just learning to like connect with others and like give more of yourself right away I feel like I've always been a little like hesitant to share with others um a little more like reserved but I think I like really learned to see the beauty of the connections that can come with like giving more of yourself to others. I'm sort of local, sort of instructor. We had um, this awesome guy, Shuaib, who he was our second homestay coordinator and also our temporary language teacher. Because in Morocco, there's like part of the country speaks Arabic and then part of it speaks Tamazight and other indigenous languages. So for our rural homestay, we were in an area that spoke Tamazir, so our normal language instructor wasn't like capable of teaching us that. So he was with us for the duration of our rural homestay. And he's just probably the most positive person I have ever met. And I think that he was just such a good example of how much influence you have on the people in your life and that you interact with daily. So I know a lot of us like during the homestays, like in my group um like the homestays are hard um and like he was the person we all went to like as soon as we were having a bad day all you had to do was like talk to Shuai and everything was just fixed and I think like having that source of positivity um was so important for a lot of us and then after that like when unfortunately we had to part ways I think a lot of us like filled in as like temporary Shuai to like lift mm -hmm. each other up because we just knew that like that's what we needed to do for each other um, and he just was an example of that and really taught us that. It was disappointing when he like couldn't come with us and travel with us, that, with us anymore. I thought it was like also had its own benefit that it gave us the opportunity to step up and like do that like um, instead of relying upon him but I know a lot of us really miss him. Like every time we do group like a group FaceTime like Zoom we always say, oh, I miss you guys. Like, did you see his last Instagram post? And like, we're all still connected with him, which I love. I think if I could go back to before the trip, um, I would tell myself just to really like savor the small moments and like indulge in those little victories. Cause I think Dragons like has so many like huge climactic moments that you're like, whoa, like, you know, the, when you finish Trek, you feel so different and um, but I think like those little moments, you know, like the first time you put on your pack without really struggling, like, I wish I had enjoyed that more. And like, I was looking back in my journal and there are just so many like little funny stories and moments that I feel like if I had appreciated them more in the moment, um, yeah, I wish I, I wish I had done that. Ooh probably lentils I remember at the end of our trip oh we had lentils so much and it was the best <laughs> I was wearing the same clothes every single day like and not getting any hate for it <laughs>
Now I'm at home working and waiting to see what school says for the fall. 